I'm adding new stereo equipment and I need to add AC outlets on the other side of this audio plate and clean up this nasty mess behind here. The problem is I have metal studs in the walls. So now I only have a hole on this one side of stud and my goal is to get wire chafering inside that stud. I can only do it with one hand. And I'll show you how easy it is to do it with one hand. Okay, we're going to take this, this chafe ring and we're going to break it in two. So now it's in two pieces. What has to happen, this goes on one side of the stud, this goes on the other and you push these two together until they snap. And then you have a hole to pass wires through. Problem is I can't do that. I don't have access to both sides of the stud. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Get a piece of scrap wood. This is a door jam shim. And it's got to be bigger than the disc. And you're going to put a hole in the middle. And when, when you have the hole in the middle, it, the disc has, it has to be big enough that it can't pull back through once you, once you get it over the hole. You need to get two, two lengths of string. Long enough to arm's length to fit inside that hole. You're going to take one string and tie it through to the center hole. Alright, so we got the center hole. Now there's another hole on the end. You're going to take a string and you're going to tie it, go through that as well. I'm going to make this hole too, so I'm going to tie a knot in the end of this string so I know which one it is. You're going to take this whole piece and you're going to go drop it inside that stud hole. And then you're going to pull the string that was tied to the middle to pull that plastic ring right up into the stud. And it'll, it'll kind of snap and hold there. And then once you've got this in the stud, you're going to come back and you're going to slide this ring down. While you're pulling on that center hole string, with one hand, you got that snapped together through the stud. Then you're just going to let every, you're going to push that board back down, find the string with the knot on it, and you're going to pull that one by itself, and that's going to pull that right back through the hole. So our goal is to put that chafe protector in that stud with one hand. Okay, so I got the disc. I'm going to put my wood piece through it. Now I got my hand on the center string, so I'm just going to go feed this whole thing through that stud. Alright, so I got it through the hole. I'm going to pull it and snap it. Alright, so I still got it, I still got pulling. I'm going to take the yellow disc, so now I got it through the string, one hand, I'm just going to slide, go slide it in there, and once you get it in there you can spin it and snap it in. So now I got that yellow disc in there, now I'm going to use the string with a knot to pull that wood back out. I'm going to let it go, push it back with my finger. And there it is. Now you got a wire chafe protector in that stud with one hand. It's pretty simple. Hope this helps you out.